Hey there guys, Spartan Fury here. Thank you for joining me. Um, we're doing something a little bit different. Um, we're going to do kind, kind of a series of some sort, um, which I'm going to put in a playlist called Let's Try. Um, and it's just going to be a case of, so you know, some free games on Steam, some cheap games on Steam. On a bit, I'm on a bit of a budget at the minute, so we're going to see if we can find something that's you know, relatively cheap, and then hopefully enjoy playing it. Uh, first game is going to be Strongholds Kingdoms. Um, it's it's going to be a one video thing, and then, you know, if people are really going crazy for it, then, you know, we'll do some more. But it's just sort of to give some people some understanding of what it's about and whether they want to play it or not. Um, as you can see, this is the first time I've ever booted the game up. I remember playing the original Stronghold games, but they were totally different to this. Um, so it's going to be a learning experience for me and you. Um, so yeah, anyway, let's get into it. Welcome, sire. I'm here to show you a few basics of the game. As, an, as I am an important person, following my advice will bring out many big rewards that can get your kingdom off to a flying start. Okay. Your village is shown on the map above. It sits inside the boundary of your parish. Let's go to your village by clicking on the village tab at the top. There we go. Oh. To move around the map, click and hold the left mouse button while moving the mouse. Try it now. Oh, I can only go up and down. Okay. We have little food in our granary, but nothing but none being produced. We need to place an apple farm near our granary. Click on the food buildings icon on the build control and select build an apple farm. Alrighty then. Build an apple farm. Alright. Oh. Oh, can you get it like right in there? Yeah. Holla. Uh, no, how do I get rid of you now? Okay, cool. There we go. Apples. 200 apples. More apples for the granary. Splendid. Later, this will let you increase your ration level, which in turn will boost your village's popularity. Collect reward. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, there we go. If we plan to construct more buildings in our village, then we need to increase supplies of both wood and stone. Build one woodcutter near the trees and one quarry on the stone to claim your next reward. Okay. Uh, okay. Boom. There you go. <clears throat> so that's built. That's good. Right. And let's try stone quarry. Where is this? Stone. Uh, down there. Okay. Three forty. That was good to me. There we go. Right click to get rid of that stuff. Okay, good. Boom. A quarry. Uh, here are some more building supplies for you as you progress through the game. You will need two vital resources to build, to build not just your village but also your castle. Okay. I'll claim my reward. What do I get? 300 wood, 100 stone. Perfect. There are hundreds of areas that in time you will be able to research, sire, and your skill and wisdom will be needed in spending your valuable research points. For now, please go and research arts one level to claim your next reward. Okay. Research. Education. Arts. There we go. Oh, I can't collect the reward yet. Hang on. Four, three, two, one, zero. Smooth. Collect reward. To rise in rank and gain status in the kingdom, you must gain honor, sire. One way to gain honor is by having high popularity. Open the honor control to see how much you are gaining a day from your popularity. Okay. Oh, here we go. 
Arts research gives me a bonus of 12. Okay, cool. Oh, times 44. Okay, so this shows me there. Alright. I'm in there. Okay. <laughs> Didn't work the first time. All right. Uh, collect reward. Of 10 on a. As you can see, your arts research has increased your daily honor multiplier. How clever of you, sire. Yeah, I've still got no idea what I'm doing in this game. Um, yourself to the heady rank of bumpkin. Lovely. I'm a bumpkin. <laughs> what was I before? A village idiot. Nice. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. A card. Certainly angry. Outrank me now. Oh, missed it. Okay. Let's play your strategy cards to see how effective it is. Click on the show all card symbol and play woodsmanship card you've just received. Small increase to wood output. Alright then. Boom. Okay, I see. So I need 20 crowns to become a yokel. What's this? A prince. Mm. Right, anyway. Uh, collect reward. Seven card points. Card points are only usually collected from trading in a set of five cards, but once you have them, you can use them to select it, the exact card you want. Go to the card screen select, screen, select swap cards, and then get cards. I buy a small wood hall card. Okay, swap cards. Small wood hall. Get cards. Boom. Two day premium token. Don't know what that is. Increasing popularity. I have one more lesson to teach you on managing your village, and that is popularity. Simply put, the more popular you are, the quicker your peasants, well, the quicker peasants will come to your village, and the more unpopular you are, the quicker they will leave. All right, it's like real life. Okay, back to the village. Popularity. Ah, decrease the taxes. Okay, hundred gold. Nice. But I get less money. Now I need to teach you how to build your castle, my lord. Go to the castle screen to claim a reward. Castle. Ah! 500 wood. Okay, collect. We'll say the loading times. They're a bit frustrating. Enclosing the keep. Later in the game, if your keep is not enclosed, your popularity will suffer. Not to mention that your defences will have a big hole in them. Go to the wooden structures part of the castle build screen and select wooden walls to enclose your castle okay wooden walls boom castle designer card okay let's have a look Play that card. Okay, I see. So you sort of set things up, you do things, and then you can play cards to work in your favour. Okay. Is it going to work now? Or? Okay, yeah, it worked eventually. 500 wood, 500 small stone, a small income and attack. Great. Yeah, that sounds like a fucking great reward, doesn't it? Uh, we appear to be under attack. I'll need to run away. <laughs> Complete the tutorial. Oh, that's awful. Right. Oh my god, they're coming. What is going on here? What's this? Click to view attacks. Okay. Nope. Oh my god, I'm being attacked. Bloody spy. It's you, isn't it? You're causing all this trouble. You've told them where I am. 
view battle. Right. <clears throat> well, we're quite clearly going to lose. I've got no defences. Fast speed. Okay. General defences. Right. Nice. Congratulations, you have completed the Stronghold Kingdoms tutorial. Here are a few suggestions on what to do next. Research new technology and boost productivity in the tech tree. Rank up. Achievements, quests, invite friend, avatar, coat of arms, reports, parish wall, mail. Alright. What on earth is going on here? What's this? Making contact. Introduce yourself to a parish wall on the parish capital info screen. Yeah, I'll take it. Spanning, okay, only do one at a time, obviously. Parish capital, here we go. Sure, it's there. What's my <clears throat> introduce yourself on the parish wall? Okay, so you just literally put like hi. There you go. Do I get an achievement for that? What's going to be discussed? You will need to write a message on the parish wall to do this. Click view on the parish capital icon and Click on the eye, view parish capital icon. I'm really very confused. That should be it. That should, yes, complete. Collect. Woo. Expanding knowledge. Research dairy farming. Yep. Let's do it. Uh, research icon. Farming tab. Research. Farming tab. Dairy farm. 58 seconds. Cool. It's a long time to be waiting, isn't it? <laughs> I suppose we played for a couple of these. This it kind of feels like we're already playing a game, but I suppose we kind of are, because in effect, this is the game. As much as it's a bit like... Personally, for me... Because... I expected, when I saw Stronghold, I expected it to be like Stronghold. And it feels like this should probably, and it, don't get me wrong, it might be, I'm not 100% sure, but it feels like it should probably be like a mobile game designed for iOS. Um, you know, it seems relatively simplistic and easy to use, sort of once you get the hang of it. But I, I kind of feel it would have been better suited on mobile. Like I said, I might be completely right. It might be on mobile already. You never know. Um, but yeah, all right, complete. Lovely. Build a dairy farm. Right, back to the village. Uh, how do we build shit? Hovel? No, we don't want one of those. We want a dairy farm. Grab it right next door again. Lovely. 50 seconds, that'll be done. You know, it's, a, it's an interesting concept to the game. I mean, you know, you get attacked and they attack your keep, things like that. You know, you can see here that we've got a total of four peasants, one unemployed peasant. Hopefully, not for long when that's built. Housing capacity of eight. My current food level, current stone level, current wood level. Click to play cards, and we've got any woodmanship. Well, it's, you know, it's okay. 
the game overall is seems you know relatively decent what have we got here have I got 20 of those yet yes upgrade myself to a yokel right back to the village anyway yeah the game's relatively interesting I think if you spend some time with it it'd be alright um anyway back there but it feels like you know those games where you get on mobile it's like oh quest this and quest that you know and they take all of you know 30 seconds but it all works in real time I'm not a big fan of real time games but you know things change learn about invite a friend alright teach me complete <laughs> that's alright uh, gold raised in 24 hours Let's see, there's no point taking that uh, yep alright we can do that uh, that should be relatively easy um, where did we go before um, parish capital uh, whatever man you'll do send a message hi <laughs> Quest test. Send mail. Oh my god, have I got to put subject? Subject of quest test. True movie B, just say hi. Send. Boom. There you go, look, lovely. Got some mail in there, congratulations, you've completed the tutorial. That's an. Oh, awkward. Oh well, anyway, complete, collect, got yeah, loads of stuff. Paris donations made. <clears throat> okay. Oh, okay. This will be done by selecting Paris Capital, going to the village tab here, click the building. If you have, if any have been placed by the Paris steward, you wish to donate. Donate resources, okay. Parish. Okay, I probably should have read that. Hang on, let's try it again. In order to complete this question, you will need to donate one packet of goods to your parish. This can be done by selecting the parish capital. That. And go into the village tab. Here, click on the building. If any have been placed by the parish steward that you wish to donate to and select donate resources, uh, you will need to donate a full packet of a single type of resource to complete the quest. If you need more information, search the wiki for packet. Right, there. The following of a village. Right, well that's crap. Abandon that shit. Um, gold hoard, what's this? Oh, that's still raised gold, isn't it? So build two buildings 24 hours. Right. Village. What's this? Got none of that. Got none of that. Got none. Of that. Uh, already got loads of that. Yeah, let's build a hovel. Twelve. It takes a whole minute. I do. Oh my god, a minute thirty-one. But after that, minute's already completed. Oh. Two and a half minutes of my life. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not going to be lasting much longer, is it? It's an interesting concept to a game. I'm not really sure about the world map. I just don't really think it's going to be for me. But hey, you know, some people might have seen this video and thought to themselves, you know, that looks relatively interesting. Apologies, I don't know anything about it, so I can't explain any of this. And the tutorial wasn't overly great, but I suppose... You spend some time looking at it and learning. You know, you might. Oh. Oh, you click. 
suppose we've got a couple minutes to mess about with. Right click. Oh, oh no. Oh, okay. No, here we go, here we go. <laughs> What's this? A resource stash. Scout the stash. Go. I've got no scouts. <laughs> there you go then. What's that? Bandit camp. Attack. I've got no people to attack it with. Pointless. Okay, so it's about, yeah, I suppose it's just about building yourself up, isn't it? And going from there. What's this? Armies. I suppose you would unlock things to build armies with. Yeah. Ah, oh, here we go. Coins. Oh, I don't want to disband. How do I make troops? Have I not got the... I've got 999 coins. So have you got to get cards for these? Ah, right, okay. Um, let's get... What do you mean by car? I've got 999. Okay, yeah, so th this has got mobile game written all over it, but, you know, you, you can see the general concept, you know, it's, it's like Stronghold to a certain degree, but with real time and in regard to cards... Oh, that's a bit random. I don't want free. No, no, no. Get off my screen. Stupid bloody thing. I know we should be able to complete that now. Complete. Woo! Anyway, there we go, guys. Hopefully that's given you a general understanding. You know, you have a village. You've got a parish. Objectives, quests, and a big map. And then while you're in your village, you've got your keep, which you can upgrade. Other bits and pieces that they don't explain to you. But hey ho, who's for me to say it's not a good game? I just think uh, I would have, I would spend more time playing it on a mobile than I would on a PC. But anyway, thank you for joining me. If you want to check it out, it's uh, free on Steam, Stronghold Kingdoms. Um, you just have to register an email address and a password. Um, anyway, if you enjoyed the video, drop it a like. If you didn't, drop it a like all helps uh, we'll do some more on some different games as well for this series um, and yeah thank you for joining me I'm Spartan Fury peace out